I should not have said that. I should not have said that. It was one of the worst evenings I've ever had. We're on. We're on. We're rolling. Oh. Before we start this video, I'm allowed to take away yes, tonight. Yes, you're allowed, Joe. Yes. I'm trying to go a bit vegetarian. Yeah, he wants to try vego. With that. pretend beef, I'm alright with that because I know it's like beans. But what is in pretend chicken? I might just try it. I try it once. Chicken patty. It won't kill me if I try it once. Isn't chicken a soft flour bun with crunchy lettuce and tangy mayo? Yeah, I'm going for that. Okay. I'm going for that. You sure? Yeah, I'm just gonna try it. So you may have seen. Uh... Oh, oh so... Joe. Sorry. Silent. <laughs> What am I like? Put it on silent. Uh, a few days ago, Diane put up a video. Um, what was it? Questions. Questions that you're too afraid to ask, ask your, your boyfriend. boyfriend. You know, for my for my huge male demographic um, that are watching this right now, I thought I would do a questions that you're too scared to ask your girlfriend. So first question right, okay. is: What do I do that really annoys you that I haven't worked out yet? That's what, Ooh, okay. that's what um, guys want to know from girls. What do I do that really annoys you that I haven't worked out yet? That does happen. Yeah, oh yeah, it happens, all right. Also, I've just got to point out, this is not about us. There's a general consensus that guys think girls will be annoyed about something that a guy's done that he's not, yeah, even, that he's so... not even done yet, but she's already annoyed about it because she knows he's going to do it. I mean, I used Why to Why does that get, happen? Like... Does that happen? Is it a, is it an urban myth? I guess girls just always always kind of find something to be annoyed at a little bit. But why? I don't know. It's just like it, it's... I, I don't actually know. I feel like some girls like drama. Do you reckon? They yeah. like They like a, to keep their, the boys on the toes. So it kind of keeps them on their toes. Really? Bit. Yeah. Some Yeah, some girls thrive off of a bit of drama. I feel like if you live off drama, you're gonna you're gonna die early. The amount of stress it must put you through, and your constant battles you have, and all that kind of thing. I feel like it's more of a young, like when you're younger. Like I'll admit, I used to love a bit of drama back in the day. Um, oh, man, do <laughs> uh, this person would ask if she uses more than once the same bra. If she uses the bra more than once, um, I've always wondered that as well. Really? I've always wondered because I'm not, I'm just gonna put it out there. Sometimes, and especially during lockdown. Um, I've <laughs> definitely showered less. Yeah. Um, this may sound weird. Yeah. But boobs, how do boobs even get dirty? Do you know what I mean? Do they, <laughs> oh, do they sweat? Me. Do they that sweat? That is the first place that sweats. Really? Boobs I can sweat. imagine the cleavage does. Yeah, of course. But does the whole, the whole thing get sweaty? It gets very sweaty. So it makes sense Underneath, to change your... In between, right. see, to I, the left, to the right. See, I never knew that. I just thought like, it'd be like your thigh getting sweaty. Do you know what I mean? I don't ever get sweaty. Sweaty thighs, that's no, playing a really intense no, game. Trust me, there's a lot of sweat that happens there. So it makes sense. But a... um, I, will, I will say. Do girls change their bra more? Like, do they wear the same bra often? I mean, it, de it depends on the girl again. But for example, I always think girls have a favourite bra, right? So I think that favourite bra gets used more than once, yes. Mm. So I have, a favorite pair of, I have a favorite pair of pajamas. Yeah, oh yeah, you do. You <laughs> love those pajamas. So I, I would say, I mean, me personally, if we're talking about me here, even though mm. we're not, but I'm going to say it about me. I do have a couple of favorites that, yeah. um, especially when I'm dancing and when I'm working out, yeah. they're just good ones. So I always wear them. So girls do have a favorite bra that they will wear more than once yep. in a row. Yep. I love a really comfortable sports bra. You like what you like? You, you have all your pants have that little special flap that goes down, so you can still wear them whilst I'm going for a poo. Oh, I do not. Yes, yeah, she. Has. A special flap. <laughs> I'm not a boy, but why do they find veiny arms attractive? Never understood. Veiny this arms. This is the thing. I've noticed this as well. A lot of girls find veiny arms in a boy, and I, I'm, I used to be part of this crew. I can get really veiny arms. Look. Like, girls find that attractive. Yeah. Look, like that. Yeah, I must admit. I mean, it, it, I mean, it, t it tells me that the boy works out. Really? Yeah. Or he does a very other... You just look... He does... you, you, I mean, you don't... Bless you, you're not ha it's not getting there for you. It, no, look. Yeah, but that's... Veins. Because, yeah, but don't do that. It, it instantly says, I work out. Yeah, but I don't agree with that because I think I mean I definitely didn't back in the time well yeah but and you I were a thatcher quite, I was, no, so I was you would have thin. been using your arms a I lot got, I think um, skinny guys also have quite veiny arms yeah true do you know what I mean because you get the I real like, I like your arms 
you get real like poppy outy like bodybuilder veins which i think yeah, are a bit, a bit too yeah for me it's a bit much but then you know some girls find that but what what, what is it about it it's, it's the fact like, that they think like, they work it's, out it's like it's like mm, you, so rather than you the big muscles meat. so rather well i don't i've just ordered a, a fake chicken burger <laughs> yeah well your veins aren't gonna be popping are they no <laughs> they're not does looks matter for girls do you think girls think looks matter well, I think there's always going to be some sort of an attraction there. But remember this, guys. Remember this. There is okay. always a girl that will find a, a certain type of boy attractive. Not everyone mm. has the same attraction to people. Girls enjoy to lead on guys. Do girls enjoy um, leading on guys? That's implying that all girls lead on guys. They don't. A lot of them don't. You know, majority of them probably don't. Yeah, majority probably don't, but, um, I would say. I mean, it does happen. Girls can lead a guy on. Um, and I guess if that's your way inclined, then yeah, you would enjoy it, wouldn't what's you? What's their reasoning for leading a guy on? To test the waters? To see, you know, if he's compatible? Do you know what? It could be. Or is it, it to see how... Be, I don't really know, but it could be that they... A girls love attention. Hmm. So it could be the fact Test. that they just like love the attention and then once they've got it, they're like, oh, okay, I'm going to move on to the next. Whoa. Could be that. Yeah. But again, I don't know. Is height important? Um, well, I have never personally dated anyone shorter than me. But what is the reasoning for girls not wanting to date shorter gu girls, guys shorter than them? I, I don't know. It's probably maybe like when you go out and you wear heels and stuff. I don't know if Do that... So I agree, I think there's a thing, girls have it in their heads that they don't want to go out in public with their boyfriend shorter than them when they're in heels. I think that's a that's a big a big deal. But if you are so in love with someone, I don't think that that is going to matter. No, it's that mental thing of like, is she thinking yeah. that I'm too short? And I think that'll play on their minds a lot. True. But you've got to realise... There's always a girl out there for you. That's what I was saying before. There'll be you, someone out there for you that will still look for There's going to be someone are. out there that yeah. is like finds your personality, and they like they don't care then how short, how tall you are. They're just going to be like, I don't care. I don't like the thought of short guys being an instant pass, swipe left. Yeah. without even getting to know them because of how tall they are. It's something they can't it's control, true. it's yeah. not fair. Yeah, that's so true, Joe. You know? yeah. And I feel passionate about that. Do girls get angry mm -hmm. when guys play their games all the time? Food's here. Ooh. You answer the question. I will right? answer the question. Yeah, I would say it's very annoying. I pretend chickens arrive. Is it? Yeah. No, I don't get annoyed at all. When a girl says, do I look good in this? Do they expect the boy to actually give an honest answer? Oh, so, look. Because... I think for a guy, they don't I necessarily know what... I would be fuming if you said, actually, no, I don't like that. Yeah. I would be fuming, so but... So rather I lie, like lie. No, but then, I can, but then I can always tell whether you're saying it just because, and then that would also make me annoyed. So, in a nutshell, that's kind of a like a lose-lose situation. <laughs> as soon as you start talking, I know what's gonna happen. I'm like, I can't win. Please tell me about the eyebrow situation. Oh, yes. Diane was, in a nutshell. Oh my God. Maybe we'll talk, maybe we'll talk about it. Diane got her eyebrows done. Oh and God, um, yeah. I was doing something else, didn't, my didn't even have my phone on me. And she came back, I looked at my phone after she came through the front door. <laughs> And the lady had dropped wax into her eyebrows. So I had And so she had an absolute it. hack job on and her eyebrows done. And then Come straight I, back home. Yeah. Got I, a Uber. I, um, I was like, hello, how's it going? And beforehand, she said she's going to get her eyebrows done. I know it's a touchy subject with girls with their eyebrows. Mm. So I um, had to always say, nice eyebrows. And I didn't look at my phone. And my, my phone said, for text from message from Diane, <laughs> Distraught, absolutely fuming, hate my eyebrows. When I come through the door, don't, do not even talk to me. That is her exact <laughs> words. That was my words. And then, do uh, not even but talk I to hadn't me. seen the text. The first thing I said was, "Oh, let me show, show me your eyebrows then." But I should not have said that. I should not have said that. It was one of the worst evenings I've ever had. <laughs> and then, no, but the worst was. Okay, so you were like, oh, "Okay, sorry, I didn't look at the phone." Blah blah blah. So, like, fine, forgave him for that. But then, when I actually asked him, like, does it look that bad? I'm, like, I'm hysterical, like, crying. Does it actually look that bad? And you then went said and no. said, yeah, but then you went and said, well, yeah, I can see it. But it's only because you're pointing it out to me. Yeah. But then, 
you know that you can't say that you should just say no no I can't no see no, it. no 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 you can't say anything in that situation even if i said i can't see anything because I, I said i think I said, you did say that first. i said i said no i don't notice it and she's you go what do you mean it's right there i said oh yeah now you point it out yeah exactly. i can see it worst. and then even worse absolutely and I was like, went from down here to even lower anyway diane thank you so much your advice has been on point. Oh, um, you're once, welcome. Once again, guys, um, just a bit of fun. Um, obviously, this doesn't apply to everyone, but that is the end of the vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If it's good, if any of this advice helps you, then I <laughs> fight for that. <laughs> nice. Yeah. But thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you again soon with another video. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.